Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, coach. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing good. How is your leg, William? Uh, it's, it's well, it's more better. It's better, not more, more better. better. Yeah. Yes, better. Okay. I'm sorry. It's so, a mistake. <laughs> it's okay. But do you have your leg in a cast or not? Uh, I didn't cast. catch it. What is the cast? Cast. cast. Enyesado. Oh, with uh, a things. Uh, uh, let me show you. <laughs> let me show you. <laughs> okay. Like maybe you have it with. What's the name of this? Vendas, right? Vendas. Oh, okay. No, I don't want to see. Yeah, thank you. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah. Uh, well, how do you say these these things? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. And ah, uh, that hurts so much. Okay. <laughs> la tiene así a carne viva, no la tiene cerrada, la tiene así con con like what? Sí. Solo son los clavos, eh, o sea, um, como sosteniendo el hueso. Los clavos sosteniendo el hueso. Sí. Ah, sí Pero lo vi. Tengo... Son seis. Oh my goodness. No, ni los quiero contar. I believe you, I believe you. Uh, I'm, I'm really good. I'm really good. I'm really bad with blood. So if I see blood, I will faint. I, I, I'm ah, not... really? Yeah. I, I wouldn't be a good doctor. I'm really bad with, with blood. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, William, for showing your... <laughs> <laughs> your leg but thank you no more <laughs> the, 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 the more important is that i am alive yeah yeah that's very important for sure yeah. that's the best thing that you're alive and you're so alive that you want to ride a motorcycle again i don't be i don't know why because if i were you i would be like never in my life riding a motorcycle <laughs> because because, yeah. be, because the, the motorcycle is more than it is more dangerous than the public transportation yeah it depends on what you're talking because violence in the public transportation but in the motorcycle accidents so yeah so yeah something like that okay thank yes. you william thank you very much so welcome guys to the class. Um, good evening to everyone. Remember guys that when we are greeting, we say good evening. Good night is like to say goodbye. So you only say good night when you are going to bed or you say good night when you are leaving a place. So when you go to a place, even though it's 9 p.m. or 8 p.m., you say, good evening, okay? Because that's a greeting. Then, good night is a goodbye. Okay, I don't know if you have the chance to work on the platform. Someone was asking there in the, in the WhatsApp group, if we can start working. Yes, you can start working now, you can, you could have started it yesterday and you can start today, but it's okay. So here's the deal. If you are working ahead, for example, we are in the section one and you are in the platform in the section two, that is okay. Okay. So don't worry if you are working ahead because that's okay. The problem is when you are working in the section one and we are in the section two, okay? So the problem is when you are behind the group. It's not a problem to be ahead. So you can be in section two, three, four, five. It's okay. Even though if you tomorrow tell me, teacher, I finished the platform, good job. That's perfect. But imagine the last day of the classes and you tell me, había una plataforma, teacher. 
So that's going to be a problem. The last day of class and you're like, no, I didn't know teacher. Yeah, but you can start working and you can go ahead. You can finish the platform. That is okay. If you feel like you can complete it, it's okay. The problem is if you are behind the classes. Do you have any questions about it? About the platform or something like that? No. No? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Y a la gente que me hace así, también thank you. Thank you so much because I understand that you're talking to ice me. Ice cream. Yes, we are for ice cream. Oh my God. Okay. So yeah, we're going to start with that. We're going to start with that. I told you yesterday, practice because we're going to do it here in the class and we're going to do it today. So welcome guys. Welcome to the class. I was waiting for more students, but I think this is all I have today. So welcome William, Ana, Miguel Angel, Marcos, Milton, Adriana, Liliana, Elsie, Ana, and Sandra. Welcome to the class and thank you so much for being punctual. I'm going to share uh, my, screen, my screen with you. So you can see the topic we have for today and start. Okay, so here we are. Can you help me reading the date, please, Adriana? Yes, sure, teacher. Uh, today is Tuesday, January 18, 2022. 2022. Ah, I'm sorry, yeah, 2000. Okay, thank you very much. Very good, Adriana. Just remember, guys, when we are saying numbers, like these ordinal numbers, we're gonna pronounce this as t, t, okay? So January 18th, 18th, okay? It's different, 18 and then 18th, 18th. Okay, now can you help me with the topics, please? Maybe let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Sandra. Excuse me, uh, could you repeat the, the question, please? If you can read the topics we have here. Okay, the first topic is 1.6. Uh, it's about personalities mm -hmm. and 1.8 it's about writing about a best friend thank you thank you very much you're then, welcome guys i forgot to tell you yesterday but i'm well i told you that i'm excited because i get to speak in english with you but i'm also really happy because yesterday i noticed me di cuenta i noticed that you have a good level. Everyone here has a good level. At least you can understand what I'm speaking, right? Yes, you can understand or you cannot understand. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, yes, so at least you can understand. And then yesterday when I heard your introductions, I heard a good level of English. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really happy about that. So let's see how we work during this days oh and remember the classes are gonna be uh from monday to thursday so we don't have classes on fridays okay that's something you need to remember okay let's continue here we go with this remember i told you we needed to practice because today we're gonna do it so here we have the tongue twister. I'm just gonna say it a few times. So I'm gonna say it a couple of times and you can repeat in your houses. Don't turn on your microphones, just repeat in your house for you. I'm gonna start slow. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I'm gonna repeat it one more time, I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I'm gonna say it a little bit faster. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Something guys that is very important, it's the joining words in English. So when we speak in English, um, we join words. Like in Spanish, when we say va pues, instead of vaya pues, so, 
it's the same. So here, you're gonna join these two, I with the letter S, and you're gonna say ice cream, okay? Ice cream. It's like it's only one word. For example, here, you're gonna join you with scream. You scream. Don't say you scream because that sounds wrong. You scream. You scream. And then here, where you're gonna join it, everything here, but this, especially this. This is all. So we all, we all scream. We all scream. We all scream. And then again, for ice cream. So the most important thing here is that you need to join the words in the pronunciation, okay? So that's better. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay, do you have this in a screenshot? Did you take a screenshot yesterday? Yeah? Yes. Okay, okay, perfect. Yes. Perfect. Now, what we're gonna do is the following. <sighs> this is your first time in online classes on Zoom. Or not? Yes, in my case, yes. Okay, for the people yes. that this is your first time in Zoom, on Zoom, we have a, let's call it a feature, a characteristic that we can do breakout rooms. A breakout room is, for example, when we are in the classroom and I send you to working groups in a small groups. So, now I'm gonna do a breakout room. And when I send you to a breakout room, you're gonna be like with four classmates in a small call. So this is the main, main session and you're gonna go to little rooms. What I want you to do in the little rooms or the breakout rooms, what they are called. What I want you to do in the breakout rooms is practice with your classmates, the tongue twister that we're practicing, okay? So maybe you can say, okay, dígalo usted. So now is your turn. Okay, ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. And then, then the other person. And if you can help your classmates and say, hey, so your pronunciation is ice cream and that is not correct. It's better if you say ice cream. If you can help your classmates, that's okay. Do it. It's not problem. What is a problem for me when I go to the breakout rooms, and I'm going to say this in Spanish really quick, para mí un problema cuando voy a un breakout room es que estén todos con la cámara apagada y el micrófono apagado y haya una soledad. Okay, so no, eso no me gusta. Para mí, si los mando a un breakout room, ustedes van a ir a practicar, van a ir a hablar, es tu, su chance para to practice, to practice, to practice. Penitencia, penitencia aquí en la principal a los grupos que yo entre al breakout room, porque yo puedo entrar, ya van a, de nada van a escuchar un recording in progress, es que la teacher ya llegó. So, cuando, porque donde yo estoy se está grabando la pantalla. So, cuando yo llegue, y a veces llego, y se pone a hablar en inglés cuando yo llego. So, no como, no me la creo toda, right? So, cuando yo llegue, ustedes tienen que estar practicing, hablando, porque si no, Penitencia aquí, aquí en, en la sala principal, penitencia. Lo vamos a poner a bailar, menos a William. So William solo le va a hacer así. Right. <laughs> okay, let's go now. Um, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and the thing uh, for the ones that just connected to the class. So this is what we're going to be practicing in the breakout rooms. When we finish there, so maybe I go there and I'm going to listen to you speaking. When we finish there, we're going to come Miss. back here. Yeah. Miss, uh, do you have a problem with the internet? ¿Todos me escuchan bien o solo será el problema de Marcos o es problema mío? I can hear you well, teacher. I can so hear you. you well, teacher. Okay. I listen too. Me. Okay. So maybe the problem is with the classmates' mm -hmm. internet? So try to see that. Ok, porque cuando los demás es que tienen problemas escuchándome, sí, es mi internet, pero si los demás me escuchan, it's a problem with your internet. Ok, I'm going to send you to the small breaker rooms and then you have, will have chances to practice there. 
Okay? Recuerden, no quiero grupos callados. I want you speaking and practicing. I, I said you see. Yes. Well, how are you today? Very good. Very, very good, man. I <laughs> practice. Uh, I ice cream, you cream. We uh, all we for all ice cream. cream. <laughs> for ice cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ice cream. For it's, ice cream. A, it's a second okay. teacher. Right? It's a second teacher. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ya me di cuenta. Ustedes uh, sí tenían razón. It was my, it was my internet. Yeah, okay. it's true. Bueno, para ahí les mandé la invitación para los breaker rooms, pero no se las mandó, así que lo voy a volver a cerrar. And I'm going to open it again. Un segundito, solo cierro y vuelvo a abrir estos rooms, porque se cerraron. But good, estaban practicando, that's good. You were practicing when I came back, yeah. That's the important thing here. Let me see. Dame un segundito. Es que cuando los mando a los rooms y luego los saco de los rooms, da un minuto de gracia. Entonces tengo que esperar el minuto de gracia para poder salir. So just give me one second. It's going to be quick. Mm, I tengo dos personas. Two people went to the breaker rooms. Glenda and Liliana. They went to the breaker rooms. Oh, there they come. Okay. Sorry, guys. Perdón por ese inconveniente. But now, yes. We're going to go now. Wait a second. Ahorita sí les va a llegar ahí una invitación. Okay, let's go. Janet, ¿está por ahí? Are you there? No sirve esto. Excellent. I uh, practice ice cream, ice cream, just cream, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Um, my turn. Uh, uh, a screen, you screen, we all screen for ice cream. 
Next. Oh, so. <laughs> Next. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, it's, it's my turn. Ice cream, okay. juice cream, wheel cream, fries cream. It's easy. Very good. I practice, hey, I practice every day. <laughs> yeah. Ice cream, juice cream, we all cream for ice cream. Okay. It's, it's my turn. Interesting. Uh, okay. Ice cream, juice cream, we all cream for ice cream. Yeah. Oh. Very good. Very good. Uh, okay. I don't practice in, in the in it's, uh, it's in the class. Yeah, I am practicing uh, in the work. And uh, today, no. uh, today I wake up. Uh, Hello, welcome back. I think my internet connection is better now. I hope so. But no. I'm no, it's not better now. No. Siempre está dando problema? Yep. Sí, ¿Qué, ¿cuál es el problema que da? Eh, por ratito se queda frisada la eh, como se queda frisada y cuando ya se queda frisada quizás están haciendo mucho uso del internet en su casa. O quizás yeah. están viendo Netflix. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Es que me mudé de casa, entonces en la otra tenía un, una conexión directa del internet a la, a la compu. La hora. Ajá, una LAN y ahora es Wi-Fi. Pues tengo que conseguir una LAN de nuevo porque, yes, yes, it's true. Pero, I can hear you very well. Excellent. Pero, I don't see you frozen. Usted no me ve congelada okay. ni me escucha bien. Ok, so yeah. Uh, we'll see. Ok, but if you can hear me, that's important for me, that you can hear me. At least if you can hear me, that's ok. Ok, now, well, and if I can hear you as well. So, voluntarily, who wants to participate here with the class saying the tongue twister? Voluntarily. Let me see. 
Glenda. Okay, yes. and then Marcos. Okay, Glenda, you start and then Marcos. Ice cream, just cream. We all cream for ice cream. Good job. Excellent, guy. Mm -hmm. Miren, guys, ahí tienen una cosita que se llama reactions y pueden dar aplausos. Miren. Like that. Yes, exactly. Very good. Qué buen público. Excellent. Good job. Marcos, now is your turn. Ice cream, juice cream, we all cream for ice cream. Very good. That was fast. Wow, Marcos. Okay, let's give some applause to Marcos. Adriana. Yes, sure. Um, ice cream, juice cream, we all cream for ice cream. Good job. Very good. Thank let's you. give an applause to Adriana. Guys, in English, applause. When you give an applause, un aplauso es esto, like this, okay? But when you, when I say clap, it's just one, clap. One, clap once, clap twice, okay? So clap, that's clap. And then applause is the whole thing. Un aplauso es como pum, okay? So, um, ba, 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 and I'm gonna choose, voy a elegir una persona, randomly I'm gonna choose another person. Let's see. Miss, I select the next people, please. You want to choose a person? Yes. Okay. Let's see who you who... Lilian Alfaro. Okay. Liliana, you have been chosen. Oh, no. no. <laughs> uh, ice cream use. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Good job, Liliana. You, you're like, that was okay, right? Very good. An applause for Adriana. Come, I mean Liliana, sorry, Liliana. An applause for Liliana. Very good. Y el que no aplaude envidia de la mala, de la que corró el corazón. Okay, let's go now with another participant. Vamos a ir con un gentleman. So let's go with Saúl. Saúl. Turn on your microphone first. Yeah. Yeah. Very ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay, okay, good job. Let's give an applause to Saul. Ya le dije el que no aplauda, que es lo que tiene. Suena bueno. Okay, now guys, let's continue here. And we're gonna do, we're gonna go with this activity. Let me see. Yeah, this is the activity. Wait a second. There. Can you see my screen now? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. In this activity, can you help me with the instructions, Ana Rivera? No, 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 no. If you can read the instructions, please. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, think about three words that best describe, best describe you. Then share them with your classmates and say why those words describe you. Thank you very much. Okay, so someone is... Regina dice que tiene problemas. Okay. So, um, maybe the internet in general is bad today. Okay. Uh, I want you guys to think about three words. So, there are going to be adjectives that best describe you. Okay. Think about them. And then you have to send them to the chat. Okay. So, here in the chat, you're going to tell me. So, write the three adjectives that best describe you. Um. No me envíen, eso se lo puedo decir en español, no me envíen, le den enter y enter y enter, porque si envían enter, se me van así mezclados todos los chats, y de repente aquí me apareció uno y me apareció otro, no. Separen con coma las palabras y me lo envían cuando ya tengan las three words together. Because if you send one by one, it's going to be a mess in the chat, ¿ok? So I want you to text me and I want you to send in the chat the three words that best describe you in your personality. Don't tell me, teacher, I'm fat. Teacher, I'm slim. 
Teacher, I have dark hair. No. Personality. Your personality. I want you to send me three words that best describe you. Okay? Send them. I'm going to be waiting for you in the chat. The chat on Zoom? In Zoom? Yeah, the chat here in Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoom. Don't send it to the chat on WhatsApp. No. <laughs> Please. Wow. Romantic. Okay. Responsible. I have a lot of responsible people here. Is it going? Okay. I like that. Responsible, do you want to say maybe? I'm a workaholic, yeah. I have that problem too. Creative, think out of the box, out, out. There will be think out of out of out of the box. Okay. Think out of the box and hard worker. Responsible, friendly, friendly, friendly. I'm happy, lovely, and loud, loud, and loud. Happy, lovely. I'm a happy, lovely, and loud person. Loud. Loudly, no, loud. Honesty, no, honest. Honest. I'm honest. So kind, responsible. <clears throat> Friendly, no. Friend, friend, like F R I E. Friendly, friendly. Educate, educated with D at the end. Educated. I'm an educated person. Okay, so I'm waiting and we're gonna go with the next activity. In this next activity is your time, is your turn to speak. Okay, I want you to go again and we're gonna speak because in this course we're gonna be speaking and speaking and speaking all that. <coughs> what I want you to do is say the three words that best describe you, but tell your classmates why. Why this word is the best one to describe you. For example, if I can describe myself in three words, one will be I'm a workaholic. I'm very, very sociable. That's why I'm a teacher, of course. And I am open minded, open minded. So I think I am. Workaholic because I have so many jobs. I have a job in the morning. I have a job in the afternoon. I have this job in the night and I work on weekends. So I'm a workaholic. The next one that I said was sociable because I speak a lot and I like to speak and I like to talk to people. And I am, um, what is the last one I said? Oh, open-minded. I'm open-minded because I 
I don't get, how can I say this? Surprised by many things that other people can get or can be surprised. So I'm really open-minded and I'm easy going as, as well with open-minded, easy going. Yes. So, yeah, eso me pasó a mí. El Zoom también se está actualizando solito. That's true. Okay. Um, now, let's go to the breakout rooms and you're going to do the same activity that I did right now, but you're going to do it with your classmates. I used a few words, but if you can talk more, talk more. Pero sí, hablen bastante, pero dejen hablar a sus compañeros. Tampoco se tomen todo el rato ustedes, ¿verdad? Okay. That's going to be important. It's important to speak, but it's important to listen. Do you understand the activity, guys, or do you need me to repeat the activity? Repeat, please. Okay, again. So you're going to go and you're going to say the three words that best describe you, but you're going to tell your classmate why. So why do you think that word describes you? For example, when I say I'm a workaholic, I think I'm workaholic because I work in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, and on weekends. Okay? Yes? Okay. Yes, I understand. Perfect. So now let's go. We're going to go with different classmates this time. Acepten ahí las invitaciones, please. Let's go. No leo invitación, Saúl. Let me send you here then. Mire ahí en la pantalla, no le aparece una invitación. No. No le escucho, tiene el micrófono apagado. Eh, turn on the microphone, please, so I can hear you. Mire, ahí le mandé el invite de nuevo. Le reenvié la invitación. Ahí está.
Anna, what happened? La sacó de internet. Yes. Ah, okay. ¿Y en I qué grupo problem. estaba? ¿O no llegó, no logró llegar? I couldn't. Ah, ok, ok. Let me send you here to the one. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Puntual. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay. 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 For me, uh, the uh, describe the three words: the responsible, honesty, and friendly. Uh, I, very, very friendly because I I work my. Uh, I think uh, my job is salesman, and then I have to do to to do many uh, many friends in in for communication uh, uh, for uh, phones and cell and computer and um, personal. And then it's necessary. Uh, um, we uh, I have a personality happy, okay. And then is is good for me. It's good for me. The the, the I think is the uh, one point uh, the, the friendly with uh, all people. All people know. Okay. Good, guys. <laughs> good, good. Very good. He's a uh...
Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> We're just waiting for the classmate right now. Okay. We are here. Marcos and Miguel Angel, Sandra. Oh, they were with you yes. in the group? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. But the other classmates are coming right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, perfect. Let me see. Okay, I think now everybody's here. Okay, guys, um, I think that you have a good vocabulary, like pretty good vocabulary with adjectives. I heard in the breaker rooms, well, maybe sometimes we are in the same level, for example, in this that is pre-advanced, we're in the same level, but we don't have the same skills, for example. Some people are better listening. Some people, what they can do best is speaking or pronunciation or reading or grammar. So what I want you to think is that if you, your classmate is speaking with the best pronunciation and you're like, yo no puedo hablar así apenas digo me like eh, friends because me, yeah. Whatever. Let me tell you something. Do you know who is Sofia Vergara? Yes. Okay. Yes, I know. Have you ever heard her heard, heard speaking English? Yes, there are yes. many memes about her. Okay, okay. But let I me see, tell you. I see, I see the series is a modern family. Yeah, me too. It's one of it's my so favorite lovely. series. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it was a really good one. But if you if you hear her speaking in English, I mean, speaking in English, her accent, it's really strong. But the main important and the most important thing is that she is not afraid, okay? 
ella va a que le entiendan, que ya me ent que pronuncie bien esto, que me entiendan. Ya si usted no, ya es asunto suyo, ¿ok? So, yes, that's the main thing. So, in English or learning English, trying to speak English, the best thing to do is not to be afraid. No, no, que no tenga miedo de equivocarse. Así es como se aprende, ¿ok? ¿Ustedes creen que un niño empieza a hablar y dice, mamá, ¿usted me puede regalar una pacha, por favor? Es que tengo hambre. Así le dicen a ustedes los niños bebés cuando tienen hambre. Right? Se ponen a llorar hasta que la mamá divina, si es que tiene hambre, tiene frío, tiene calor, que le pasó, lo picó algo. Right? We don't know. Después dice pacha, tal vez. Leche. Así se van a empezar. Eso del dos. We don't know. They are just crying. Solo mismo con ustedes, guys. The best thing to do is to try to communicate your idea. Si usted va y quiere comer, you want to eat, ¿ok? Así, ay, no, no voy a pedir comida porque qué pena. Mejor me muero de hambre, ¿ok? Que me dé un ahí de todo, pero yo no voy a pedir comida ahí en inglés. So what are you going to do? Are you going to say me? Me hungry. Me food. I want food, right? That's what you're going to do. You're going to communicate your idea. That's the most important thing when learning English. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to give you some vocabulary. Maybe you know these words already. Maybe you know some and some others you don't. Can you, can you see my screen? Yeah? Yes, sure. Okay, if you want, you can take a screenshot of this. Um, yeah, you can take a screenshot. So I'm gonna give you pronunciation of these ones and maybe by the picture, you understand the meaning. But if you don't understand the meaning of a word, you can ask me and I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna go with pronunciations. The first one is anxious, anxious. I'm a very anxious person. Naughty. A kid that likes to bother a lot. Naughty. Naughty. Stubborn. Stubborn. Impatient. Teacher, excuse yeah. me. I have a question. Uh -huh. What is naughty? Naughty. Naughty. Yes. It's a person that has a bad behavior. Is is uh, teacher? What? It's like it's like a good person. No, es un mal creado. Ah. Oh, okay. yeah. nah. Burlón, no, okay. burlón, mal creado, así bien Burlisto. mal portado. Yeah. I know very nice. Naughty. 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 Right? What is it? Uh, maybe. Travieso o travieso. Yeah, too, yeah, exactly, right? exactly, exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Puede ser, Maybe. déjenme decirles que no puede ser utilizado en tantos contextos. Bueno, se lo voy a explicar todo. <laughs> naughty. Yeah. Okay. Naughty, naughty. Then we have stubborn. Yeah. Then we have impatient. Then we have sensitive. Sensitive. But sensitive is not like sensitive or like just like that sensitive can be in the feelings too sensitive in the feelings intelligent you can say intelligent but you can also say smart that's another like synonym nice a nice person nervous it's almost the same in spanish then we have emotional emotional Como que a propósito pusieron estos dos juntos. Emotional, and then we have bad tempered. Bad tempered. Mean. Mean is a synonym of bad. So a bad person is a mean person. Distracted, like, uh, right? Distracted. Then we have honest is the affirmative one and the Negative one is dishonest, okay? Dishonest. So a person that is dishonest. Rude. Rude is also bad, but more like grosero. Rude. That is rude. A rude person. Discreet. 
is almost the same in Spanish, right? Discreet. I'm a very discreet person. Crazy. I think you know this one. Crazy. Untidy. Untidy. A person who is untidy is a person who doesn't dress good and doesn't shower good. Maybe let's say it's a person descuidada, right? Like with the appearance, physical appearance. They don't take care of physical appearance. Untidy. Untidy. Cheeky. What do you think is cheeky? A ver, by the context, by the picture there, what is cheeky? Pero no como chiquito. Sería así como que hace berrinche, teacher. Yeah, but here in Spanish, maybe we can say more like descarado, bien descarado, un chiqui, it's a chiqui person. Cheerful, and that person looks like they are, like it's a sneezing, se ve como que se está estornando, pero no, it's not that. Cheerful is like very good and like that, yeah, good job. So cheerful, when you do something good, I'm like, yes, good job, that's something you did good. Then we have the next one is energetic. Energetic. Next one, optimistic. Optimistic. Next one, pessimistic. Pessimistic. So these are antonyms, right? Unpleasant, desagradable, unpleasant, a person that is unpleasant. Talkative, this one guy has two meanings. A talkative person can be a person that speaks a lot in the good sense, like they like to speak like me. And then we have in the bad sense, talkative also is a person who is very gossiping, like they like to speak about other people. So talkative in a good way, they like to speak talkative in a bad way. They like to speak about people, okay? Calm, um, chill, chill. Chill is a synonym, calm, chill. Passionate, a person who is passionate about something. For example, I'm passionate about speaking English or I'm passionate about airplanes. I'm passionate about cars. I'm passionate about shoes. I don't know, something like that. Then we have proud. But proud, it, like in Spanish, has two meanings. Proud, like, no seas tan orgulloso, proud. But also proud, like, estoy orgulloso de ti. Proud, two meanings, and both are correct. Not so good, proud, like, being a proud person, and proud to be proud of something. Do you have any questions? No, miss. No. no, teacher. Okay, no teacher. perfect. No teacher. So what I want you to do for next class, this is going to be like a small homework. It's not a big homework. For the next class, I want you to describe your best friend. Okay, that's going to be the, the homework. Describe your best friend. So using adjectives like to describe personality. Don't tell me like the physical appearance, no. Personality, you're gonna describe your best friend. Teacher, pero es que no tengo mejores amigos porque la gente es mala. Describa a su mascota, a su sombra, I don't know. Whomever, a su amigo imaginario. If you want to describe your imaginary friend, but I want you to describe your best friend. Y si no tiene ni amigo imaginario, invéntaselo. Así como, así me gustaría que fuera, pero no existe, right? And you're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to do something like that. Um, siempre, guys, le voy a enseñar como frases útiles del inglés que yo considero, por ejemplo, piece of cake yesterday. And right now I'm going to show you something good. I don't like when people are like, hello, how are you? I'm good. And you? Good. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. And that's a conversation. ¿Quién habla así en español? Hola, ¿cómo está? Mucho gusto. Hola, mucho gusto. ¿Qué hace? Bien. ¿Todo bien usted? Adiós. Adiós. Así hablan ustedes en español. I don't think you speak like that. Hey, ¿qué onda? Ah, todo tranquilo por ahí. ¿Vos qué tal? Ay, viera que no sé qué. Like, we speak like that. We don't speak like ro robots. 
So I'm going to show you here a piece of conversation that you can use. So here it says, don't say hi. How are you? I'm good. And you? It's better if you say, hey, how is it going? ¿Cómo te va? How is it going? Can't complain. Like, no me quejo. Can't complain. What about you? And instead of saying, and you, and you, and you, and you, say, hey, what about you? ¿Qué hay de ti? Okay, it's better. Both conversations are the same. Okay, they are the same conversation. But the second conversation here, this one, sounds more advanced, like an advanced English. Okay? Yes. Miss, I can listen to you. No me puedo escuchar. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Los demás, ¿me escucharon lo que dije? The screen, the screen was freezing. Oh, I can't find Ah, bueno, pero lo que quise decir es que no digan el primero, digan el segundo, para que se escuchen más avanzados. Ok. Porque el primero es, hi, how are you? Wouldn't you? It's my, my, like, hi, how is it going? Can't complain es, no me quejo. Mm. Ok. Ok. Ok, okay, okay, okay. okay you okay. have a homework for tomorrow y espero mañana. Por okay. primero Dios tener un, una mejor conexión de internet porque like today was awful. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow, guys. Yes. Yeah, oh, tomorrow, teacher. teacher. Bye. 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 Work, Bye. On Work on the platform. Work on the platform. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.